Never mind my red chalk pencil. I've got that so the camera stays focused down here. I wanted to show you this was clear plastic tubing. You see about the size. So this is tubing and it's about 3 8 inch. 8 3 8 inch. It even says 3 8. Okay. I use this on a bobbin that's almost empty. Now as you can see, I have is that better? No, not the same. Actually it is a little better. So anyway, this was about half inch or so. You see how big it is. I use that the bigger ones on the fuller, fuller bobbins. Then on a bobbin that is not very full. Your hands back up a little more. Okay. That's not very full. I use these smaller tubes. Okay. You don't have to get them aligned on perfect. Matter of fact, they can be thinner than that. I've got some, my thicker ones go on my brother bobbins. But, those are great to tame your bobbins. I cut them, I get the tube. Like, say this is the tube. And I cut them with pruning shears. Because it gives you a nice cut. It They don't slice like this. And I just cut them the width I want. You can measure them or eyeball it. And then, once you get them cut, you just snip through it. Those bobbins can be unruly. <laughs> Especially when I wind hundreds of them at a time. The nice thing about buying the tubing you can buy it at Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, or probably any other hardware store. It's just clear plastic tubing. And you only need like <laughs> a foot of each. We went out and bought yards of each one. But you can cut them narrow for the Viking type of bobbins, Foff. Cut them wider for Brother. Cut them bigger for your long arm quilter. Those do get on really. Thank you for watching.